Okay, let's see then. Uh, do you have any question, any comment about the uh, grammatical contents of unit three? No, no questions? No thoughts, no comments? What did you see in unit three? What grammatical topics did you study? No, not yet. We study adverbial phrases. Uh huh. Um, yes. The to be. The verb to be. No. Adverbial. Uh, Present continuum. Present. Past. No. Past. Past continuum. Past continuous and versus. Used, you, I used to. Okay, used to is the other verb. If we talk about uh, past continuous, we have other structure for the past. What was it? The past continuous and the... But remember that you use when and why with these two structures. The past continuous and the simple past. Okay, group. Four, okay, we are going to check. I'm going to share with you my screen and we are going to watch two videos about these grammatical topics. And after the videos, we are going to check your understanding of these two topics, okay? If you cannot listen to the videos or you cannot watch it, please let me know.
Let's see then, we are going to check the second video and then we are going to make some comments about them. Today, we're going to talk about past. Can you hear it? Yes. 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 Okay, thank you. Then we are going to continue. Simple and continuous. First of all, let's have a look at how we use these tenses individually. In the case of the past simple, we use it to talk about single completed actions in the past. For example, I traveled to Buenos Aires last month. This action started and finished in the past. The past continuous, however, is used to talk about an action in progress in the past. For example, I was doing homework. The action in this sentence is not a single one. On the contrary, it is a long action which took place over a period of time. Now, when do we use both tenses together? We do so when we talk about an action which happened while another one was in progress. When this happens, we use the past simple to talk about the shorter action, this is, the single event. And we use the past continuous to talk about the longer action, this is, the action in progress. Now, we have two words which are generally used together with these two tenses and they are when and while. We use when before the past simple and while before the past continuous. It is also important to say that there are different ways in which we can combine the past simple and the past continuous. Let's have a look at some examples. You can, for example, combine the past simple and the past continuous. This means that there is one single action which interrupts an action in progress in the past. You can use the past simple first and the past continuous second, and the other way around as well. However, bear in mind that you will have to link the two clauses using when or while. For example, the phone rang while I was having a shower, or I was having a shower when the phone rang. You can also use the past continuous in both parts of the sentence. This means that there are two activities in progress in the past which happen simultaneously, this is, at the same time. For example, while I was cooking, my sister was tidying up. Remember that in this case, you will have to join the two clauses using while. You can also use the past sample in both parts of the sentence. This means that there are two single actions which occur at the same time in the past, or one immediately after the other. The difference with the previous pattern is that in this case, the two actions are short. Take a look at this example. I called her when I got home. If you use this pattern, remember that you should use when in order to join the clauses. Another thing which is important to mention is that, in this case, you can use while and as with the same meaning. Take a look at these examples. While I was walking home, I found a wallet. This is the same as saying, as I was walking home, I found a wallet. Now, what about the position of when and while in the sentence? If the sentence starts with when or while, we separate the two clauses with a comma. For example, when I saw her, comma, she said hello. While she was hugging me, comma, my brother arrived. Now, remember that if you start the sentence the other way around, the comma shouldn't be used. We saw in the videos the two main topics of Unit 3. The use of used to and the use of when and while with the simple present and past continuous. Do you have any comment, any question? Any doubt? No questions, no doubts? Nada por el estilo? No, teacher. Okay, then I'm going to call the roll, please. Okay, and remember to check your calendar. In the calendar, you have the deliberate dates for the activities, please. The calendar is in the news forum or the social forum in general components in the platform, please. Check the calendar continuously, please. Por favor, revisen siempre su calendario de entregas de actividades. En este mes, creo que tenemos encimado un poquito 
la unidad 3 y la unidad 4. No se les vayan a pasar las fechas, por favor.